Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Apache Cordova plugin for in-app browser in your Ionic framework project for Android and iOS. The importance of this is uh, Ionic framework uh, cannot natively handle external links. So if you ever want to browse to an external website outside of your app, you need this plugin in order to do so. Otherwise it's going to have very strange results. And then uh, anything, anything in this video is going to be in a write-up on my web blog, which can be found in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and start by starting a new project in Ionic. Next we're going to add the platform for Android. Now if I were on a Mac and not Ubuntu Linux, I would also do this uh, at the iOS platform, but because the iOS, uh, iOS platform only works on Apple, uh, we have to skip it for the purpose of this tutorial. But if you're on a Mac, you can certainly add it and it'll work fine. This, this tutorial is cross compatible. So now that we've added the Android platform, let's go ahead and add the uh, Apache Cordova plugin for in-app browser. And I've already opened it, but uh, I'll also include this in the write-up, so that way you don't have to go searching for the URL. We're going to go ahead and download the plugin. Now it's already installed in our project. So navigate to your Ionic project directory. Go to www, the JavaScript directory, and open up your app.js file. You'll notice that for this particular pro uh, tutorial, you don't need to change anything in app.js. Everything will be handled in your um, in your HTML files. So go back, and we're going to open up index.html. And let's go ahead and add some of this code. We're just going to keep it simple. Oops. So what we're doing is we're adding a list of clickable items and each item is going to bring us to a web page. Alright, so the most important part of this is our on click. And what's going to happen is it's going to open up the Twitter. If you've got a Twitter application installed, it's going to try to open it in your Twitter application. Otherwise, it's just going to use your browser uh, because we have the system tag. System means that it's going to open up in whatever the system thinks is correct, whether it be the system browser, system application for Twitter, uh, whatever and by including location equals yes it's going to include the URL bar if it uses the browser. So let's go ahead and save this and we're going to go ahead and build this project.
And then again, if, you, if you're on a Mac, you could also build it for iOS. All right, the build was successful, so let's go ahead and install it into our simulator. All right, and when we open it, we have a list with a list item. So let's go ahead and open Twitter. And as you can see, it opened Twitter in my web browser because I don't have the Twitter client installed in my simulator. And then when you hit back, the, the web browser closes and you're back in your Ionic app. So to sum things up, we didn't change anything in our JavaScript file. We did everything in the HTML files. And all we did was downloaded the Apache Cordova in-app browser plugin, which is compatible with iOS and Android. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Again, I have a written post for this article, for this tutorial on my written blog, uh, which you can find in, in a link inside the video description. Uh, again, there's going to be a lot more great stuff to come. Thank you.